all right welcome back it is another hot blistering day here in the sip at the 313 sitting here if you watched the last video the little flyover job this is where we're at this is a uh, guy said this is the uh bulldozer job um it's uh it's looking really good after it's rained on it a couple times it's it's even settled down some more um said they should have no problem bush hogging that but the guy said hey man come back with the excavator and start right here and just give me give me eight hours let's see how far we can get with that so i said yes sir i'll see what i can do so got that thing full of fuel um you probably already seen the video of me servicing it it's almost 500 hours so we're going to get in here i'm going to leave the bigger trees what i what i say bigger is something that i think i would have to chainsaw i'm going to leave those for right now let it start opening up until uh, let him see what he thinks about that so we're just going to blaze through here i'm going to have to kind of take this stuff and kind of set it out of my way for right now but what i'm going to do is try to have as least piles as i can but put it put it in piles here and there um, instead of just one big pile I can get more ground covered that way of course he'll have more piles to burn so uh he may he may come i'm, I'm gonna say hey man i've gotten you know five or six hours in come look at it and see what you think uh we can go from there but anyway there's a huge stump not a huge stump but a stump right there uh that i centered with a dozer and it pretty much threw me out of the seat in the thing so i know my welds are good on the uh root rake because I centered that stump right there. I'm going to dig it up real quick and get it out of the way. But let's jump in here and let's get to work. So what I'm doing, or what I'm having to do, let me get this visor out of your way. What I'm having to do first is get these piles of junk that was already pushed up here kind of out of the way so I can get these trees that uh, they was pushed up on out first spider web hanging on me oh. Just throw all that stuff right up in there once I kind of get me a little area cleaned out I'll start setting stuff in that area That'll give me a central location to kind of work around. Figure it may be a little bit slow getting in here trying to get all these. So whoever it was that cleared it last just pushed everything right along the side of the road. About and show you what I got done so far. I ain't been at it for about an hour. There's a pile there. Can't see back behind it, but I gotta let that machine cool down a minute. It is it is ungodly hot today. It's probably about 98 out here. Well, that there's no telling what the heat index is, but it's pretty thick in here. Um, that pile, it's it's probably about 10 feet tall at least it's it's a lot bigger than what it looks on camera i assure you uh but y'all can see how thick it is in here and i guess maybe this will kind of help people oh i guess if you're looking to rent a machine or looking for for some work to get done or uh, not sure what size or what you can do with that size machine you know this is going to be right at eight hours so um it's more or less a production job so um, it's just all i can get down so it'll be good to see judging by you know this stuff that you're seeing right now you know how much you can blaze through it uh there's some bigger trees down through there but they're kind of spaced out 
um, probably about about like that one's about as big as I'm gonna take down I can still snap that one pretty easy uh, well it's been it's since it's a sweet gum I'm seeing a lot of sweet gums in here a little bit of oak so I don't see a whole lot of hickory there's a couple of them in there so um, what's good about that is I'm, I'm able to break things up really good and I can I can make the pile higher versus longer if that makes sense i want to try to break it up as much as i can and make the pile high and that way he's not losing a whole lot of ground with the pile so uh that thing is almost at 500 hours i'm going to keep at it just a little bit longer and then i'm probably going to go get the oil and filters and change that um and then we'll continue on on this job Some of you may be wondering uh, if you've never done this kind of stuff before. Like when I'm sitting here bunching little stuff up and then I pick it up and drop it like that. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to get a better hold or anything like that on it. It's I'm looking through the pile and I'm picking out kind of which tree I want next. Some of you can tell what I'm doing. It's more or less, I'm trying to use that brush and stuff to get a better hold on the smaller stuff. Uh, that, that bucket and those, that plate, well, the bucket and the teeth don't actually touch together, but in very small places. So you got a gap in there. If it's anything smaller than, you know, like, uh, inch or two it doesn't really grab it, it just kind of uh, lets it 
and slide through there. So if you get a big wad of stuff like that and you start throwing it down on smaller stuff, like that right there, it kind of helps hold on to the little bitty stuff. technique to kind of use when you're in a little little bitty brush stuff when I get to where I have to track track too far I'll uh, make me a new pile but I want to try to keep as as little piles as possible or not little piles less number of piles as possible It's going to be a lot of stuff. There just there ain't no way around that. This stuff is thick in here. Uh, but it really shouldn't be hard to burn. the uh, dozer video kind of what I was fixing on that that right there is a prime example of what I was fixing it was like it was like whoever cleared that didn't didn't rake any dirt really back off in the bigger holes so I I just changed the oil and stuff on that y'all just watch that video and I'm back down here clearing uh, a storm has just came up out of nowhere I'm gonna have to check the radar and see what see what this is all about my gosh I'm gonna roll my windows up real quick I don't know what's going on around here now but 
man it's always something well all right i've been at it for a few hours now i'm pretty much just under six hours of what i've got done so far i kind of got slowed down pretty good in that back corner because they was there is just so much vines and stuff back there that stuff was a nightmare and like little stuff like this i'm not just gonna sit there and waste my time with it uh, they can run a bush dog through that and get it knock all that stuff down um he may want me to do it with a skid steer since i got it down here i don't know but i figure i'm not gonna waste his money with that stuff try to get the bigger stuff out but i think what i'll do i'll tell him to come down here and look see which direction he kind of wants to go with it since we're we're getting close to the eight hour mark, but um, I should be able to blaze through that small stuff right there pretty easy. Kind of go in right there and work a, work around those bigger trees and working in and out of these trees kind of slowed me down too uh, as far as putting the piles. Uh, but I got a pile there and a, and a pile here. So um, they're a little bit too close to those trees, but uh, I really didn't have another option other than taking out some of these big ones. I may see if he wants to keep those or not, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I guess it just looks like the bigger trees are kind of in this little in this little area. Um, when I'm looking that way, I ain't seeing no no tall trees through there. So um, this may have been the worst part of it is the front side, um, as far as you know having to work around stuff, but. Um, We'll see what he says. Uh, I'm gonna go grab some supper. Um, I tell you what, you already seen the video of it, but changing that, doing the the work, you know, was very easy. Changing that uh, the fluids and the filters on that thing, but man, I tell you what, the heat, the heat has just been ungodly around here lately, and. Once you get hot like that, it's kind of hard to recover from it. Now, I was I was glad to get back in the machine so I could get in the AC and cool off, but uh, that kind of got me in the first part of the, the day there. So I'm gonna call it a day. I'm on the rest of the the rest of the video. I'm probably gonna do with a drone. I haven't filmed with it in a little while, and uh, so anyway, y'all hang around. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of drone footage here. I still don't have a controller holder because I've been too busy to even think about it really. What I'm going to do here is uh, kind of start me a new pile and kind of go straight in right here. I'm just going to set this first up to the side and when I get me a spot opened up I'll come back and, and pile it on where the actual pile is going to be. I'm going to try to get away from these trees, these bigger trees on my right that I'm saving. Kind of to the left of where I'm at right now is probably going to be where my pile is. I need this tree out of my way so I can swing stuff over. It is bad hot again today. It's supposed to be like 110 degrees on the heat index. And I wanted to get down here early this morning and get to work, but I've had errands to run this morning and you know how all that goes. It's always something. Always something coming up. always something getting hung in my bucket teeth <laughs> uh oh me i guess it's kind of part of who i am now <laughs> you know everybody's got a uh, little character characteristics about them every, their own little things about their channels or whatever and i guess mine's just getting stuff hung in my bucket teeth I should get shirts made with a bucket with uh, sticks and stuff hung in it. <laughs> I can't tell where it's hung at though. There we go. 
and I can't file the, the things off like I like we talked about. Uh, Tony suggested filing or grinding the uh, barbs off there, but I can't do that because of uh, the keepers, the way they're made, it'll, it'll grind where the keepers, you know, probably just fall off. Still have no clue why they design a tooth like that. But anyway. I'll probably, you know, I'll probably time lapse some of this in just a minute. I don't know how long that drone will stay in the air as hot as it is. It may, it may decide that uh, it don't want to fly today. I'm gonna set that bigger log out of the way right now and put it on top of the pile. I told him I would try to set the bigger stuff like this on top of the pile. That way when it burns, it'll kind of help him burn the bigger stuff up a little easier. y'all what's got expensive and that's daggum grease. I always go to Tractor Supply and get the little uh, 10 pack, I think it's a 10 pack, yeah 10 pack of grease. And I want to say that stuff used to be like $20 or something, I may be wrong. Or maybe that was a special I bought on it one time, I don't remember but then time before that or the, the last time I had bought some I remember it was like forty dollars and I was thinking like man why is that got why that got so expensive and then this time it was it was dang near sixty dollars and I was like what the crap y'all let me know what y'all pay for grease and <laughs> if that sounds right I mean you gotta have it so I it's not like I'm gonna skip out on it, but. I know everything is ridiculous right now and it ain't gonna, it's not getting any better until people just absolutely stop spending. But unfortunately, when people stop spending, that hurts me. did have a big job kind of cancel on me this morning. Uh, well, they didn't cancel. They just said we're going to wait a little while. I guess that's canceling. But, you know, I've, I've learned just to not worry about it. Keep on trucking because I got here and was greasing the machine. A guy pulled up and said, hey, man, come right down the road. I got some work I want you to do down here. So, I've got several other jobs lined up. Uh, it just kind of happens when you can't get two jobs quick enough. You know, people find something else to spend their money on, and that's just human nature. But that's part of doing what I do. I can't just show up the next day either. I'm not a month or two behind at least, you know, uh, it's not good, it's not good for business. You know, that's why I invested in the dozer too, is, is to get done quicker and be more efficient.
so I can knock out more jobs. But there is one more thing I really need. I think I'm sitting on a stunt, which I don't think I'm gonna be getting it no time soon, but that is an off-road haul truck. I desperately need one. I know Sam's got that uh, JCB. And I keep an eye out for them, but the only ones I have found is, you know, kind of really ridiculously overpriced, I think, for what they are. Uh, there's just not much, much used stuff like that out there. I'd really love, I really want one like Chris has, that 825. That would be, that's really what I want. I don't, I don't want to get something too small and then regret, you know, But if I could find a decent deal on one like Sam has, I would I would go with that because that would be way better than what I got now. I really want to start going to auctions and stuff like that, but I just don't I don't know what I'm doing as far as that stuff goes. And, I don't really have nobody to kind of show me or go with me. Uh, I feel like that's really what I need to start going and doing and start going and seeing what they got. And I don't know why I'm really afraid of it because I've learned stuff the hard way my whole life. So. hate that about myself. I sit and worry about stuff like that so much when I can't sit and uh, really see that that's, that's how I've done everything else is just just do it. <laughs> You'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> it always costs me way more money than it should, but stuff in here it is thick thick up along this road it's it's pretty wet it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because this is the higher higher ground it stays wet along this road like once I get up in here a little bit it, it gets really dry and uh, sandy I guess that's why because it's got more sand it doesn't make sense either usually your sand is on a hill, not not at the bottom of it. I don't know. It's Mississippi for you. Don't nothing, not a whole lot makes sense around here. Can't see my controller. But I can see the drone right there, so I'm trying to keep an eye out for it, make sure it ain't wandered off somewhere. That's old Skeeter Sam. That's, that's the name of my drone, Skeeter Sam. Y'all know who that's named after. <laughs> oh, me. What I'm trying to do is get me an area around the pile clear out a full circle around where the pile is going to be and then you don't have to worry about stuff getting lost in the pile if that makes sense. Probably going to take out this oak tree right here next to me. Yeah. I'll clean that one up in just a little bit.
something. I'm gonna set y'all up on a time lapse here and just uh, I'm gonna truck through this small stuff as quick as I can and see how much we can get done. We don't like a whole lot more, just a few more hours and that's going to be the uh, time limit anyway, the first time limit.
what I can anyway, try to get some of this big piles of dirt top down, I guess. This is ridiculous. This is, this is, I don't understand the big man. Uh, that's exactly why I'm not going to clear with that dozer. It's just, didn't burn too great when I first come over here and looked at them they hadn't burned or hadn't burned them yet and he asked me I said man you ought to be able to strike a mass of that that thing ought to burn up in no time so they burned them or tried to whenever I was working on other stuff down here and I come back over here and looked I was like well those didn't burn up worth nothing but now I see Like it's got more dirt in it than it does trees and stuff. Oh, I'm just going to do the best I can with it and then uh, I'll do a flyover of the other part I just finished that looks like how far I got all right I'm gonna call it a day I got the uh man the sun I got the eight hour job knocked out um, he's supposed to come look at it in the morning and see if he wants any more done. This thing, she's been worked hard today. It has been hotter than Hades. Um, I just did another little two-hour job right down the road there. And I got a, I got a bush hog for about an hour in the morning. And now to wrap that one up, I'm really ready to get back in this thing. Um, I got to figure out where I'm going to next. Anyway, uh... I'm going to do a flyover of the of the job up here that I did. So, those piles over there are just absolutely slap full of dirt. The best thing to do with them is to set them all back out and make whole new piles and burn them like that and then rake through the dirt. Um, that's a whole other job by itself right there. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching and your support. Y'all keep your eyes open. See you later.